Good morning, YouTube. My name is Mike. My channel is MDH5169, and I thank you for checking out this video. So today um, it's Sunday, and I am in a hotel room in Sacramento, California. And my wife Kristen and I decided to come up as kind of a belated um, Valentine's Day getaway, and so we planned this about a week ago. So you're probably asking yourself, how does this relate to cars? This is a car channel, Mike. How does this relate to cars? Well, I'm going to get to that. So stick with me on this story. Um, I have a friend by the name of Frank. I actually have a couple friends by the name of Frank, but this one friend in particular, he buys and sells cars quite a bit, and he does pretty well at it. Um, he enjoys it. He has fun with it. He's he's very passionate about vehicles, but he just he's always done very well at just buying and selling and trading and things like that. So. Frank has been after me for a couple of years and wanted me to go in and do a flip with him. And I kept saying, yeah, let's do it. That sounds great. Let's do this. Let's do that. But my problem is, is that I always find another vehicle that I want to buy for me, that I want to keep, that I want to you know, toy with. I'm not really thinking so much about flipping it and trying to make a buck on it. I'm thinking about, oh, I really like this car and I want to add it to my collection. So what happened was about a month ago, Bosco hits me up and says, you know what, Mike, we should go on and start flipping cars. And I said, you know what, if we're going to do that, let's bring Frank in on it because Frank's really good at it. He's been hitting me up for a long time, so let's the three of us go in and do this together. So we got together, we talked about it, and decided, yeah, we're going to do it. So Thursday, last Thursday, Bosco, Frank, and I decided to go up and take a look at a 73 Dodge Challenger. And it was up here in El Dorado Hills, which is very close to Sacramento. Uh, we didn't end up getting the car, but I had seen a guy on Craigslist who said that he had 100 cars for sale up here in the Sacramento area, and he was liquidating all of them. So um, it just so happens we're up here already, so I text him, asked him if he was going to be at his shop. The guy says, yeah, come on by. It's like 15 minutes away from where we were. So we go by, and we end up going to the shop full of 100 cars. And of course, I didn't bring the camera with me that day. But um, we did end up seeing a Mustang we kind of liked. And we were just a little bit away on the price. So me and Frank Bosco got back. We've been talking about it back and forth and decided, okay, let's make another offer to this guy. So we did over text. He said, come take a look at it, check it out, drive it. If you like it, it sounds like it'll probably be a go. So since Chris and I were going to be up here anyway for our little getaway, it just made sense that to run over and check out this car, drive it and everything like that. And if we like it, or if I should say if I like it and I approve, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. And then the three of us will go in and maybe try to flip it and, you know, just make a couple bucks. We're not looking to get rich. But I did bring the video camera along this time. So I'm going to take you guys through and show you these hundred cars or so that he has over here in this these two warehouses it really is amazing and you just don't run across stuff like this that often so that is what's on the agenda today it took me a few minutes to get there but next stop we'll be at his shop your destination is on the right our destination is on the right <laughs> all right. that's right all right we are here drive around back since i've been here before and i actually know where i'm going this time We're about to see a lot of very cool cars. There's one right there. Yep, there's one right there. There it is. You like that? I like that. A lot. Oh God, now we're in trouble. <laughs> We're in deep trouble. We're in deep trouble. Okay, so it's never good when you're walking back from a test drive. I think the car's out of gas, but took it for a test drive, just got on the freeway, was going into fifth gear and just died on me. And of course I did not bring my cell phone. Left it in the car charging. Fun. So I'm gonna have to trek back about a mile and a half, get him, come get it. Hopefully we can get it back to the shop. Oh. Okay, so I made it back and we are now in a 91 Acura NSX. We're gonna go and see. I think it probably is out of gas. We're gonna go check that out, but I thought this would be a good opportunity to ride in an NSX and show you guys. These are iconic cars. And it's a very clean car too. I'm gonna film this. I've never been in a NSX. <laughs> Thing sounds really good. Yeah, this one's custom. Okay. It's got headers and an exhaust system. I was going to say, I 
didn't think that was stock. That yeah, sounds really nice. I would have got on it, but there was a I, I, I totally understand. That's what I pulled out. I was like, yeah, okay, be calm. I know the branch of police. I don't know the sheriff's out well. I didn't like, like leaving this car here. <laughs> ah, like, no problem. I still, it just bothered me. I was like, I kept looking back at it. It's going to be okay, right? Yeah, they're insured. <laughs> I kind of thought that's what he was going to do. <laughs> yeah. I can't lie, it sounds really, really good. It sounds really good. Not a bad looking car either. Okay, just real quick because he's got to go. I kind of want to show you guys some of the cars that he has here. I mean, look at this. There's a Shelby Cobra replica. There's a, looks like a Falcon convertible. He's got boats. Um, he's got more cars back there. I see he's moved some cars. I think he sold some cars. And this is just one warehouse. Let's walk over here. So I'll show you guys this really custom one. That is really cool. Really, really cool. Model A, just a little bit of everything, guys. Just a little bit of everything. I really do like that car. I'm just not a big convertible fan, but let me just show you guys back here. If I can even get it, because it's so dark back here, but first generation charger, some motorcycles, and I don't know if you guys can see back there because it's dark, but he's got more car stuff back in here. I mean, just, it's incredible. I am, it's like car nirvana. So anyway, he's got to get out of here. So this video is probably going to be a little shorter than I anticipated. Um, I'll do a, I'll do an outro in just a little bit though. Okay. So we made it back home. Um, I'm going to opt to pass on the Mustang. It's a nice car and he's probably about right on the price with it, but just for everything that it would need, like the speedometer wasn't working, it's gonna need some front end work, it's gonna need some brake work, just stuff like that. And you know, we're looking for something to kind of flip and we could probably make a couple of bucks off of it even after doing that. Sorry you guys really couldn't see the full extent of his, his collection. He said he had another area about the same size and it was pretty full of cars too. So um, there was a lot of cars I couldn't really show you, but he was planning on going over the, I guess there's the Autorama or something like that that was in Sacramento. I was not aware of it, but he was heading over there. So I didn't want to hold him up. I thought I would go ahead and end this video, but I'd end it by kind of sharing with you what's going on in the shop, what's here, what's happening and everything like that. So first of all, going to pinball machines, if you can see the, the newest one over there in the corner is all torn apart right now. We've got the back glass right there and the bottom glass right there. Uh, blew out like four solenoids and so Mark's got those on order right now and as soon as they come in he will bring those over put it back together. I think I'm going to sell that pinball machine. Um, I just don't really know that I need it. I haven't had the best luck with it. I've had a couple issues with it already. I'm sure it'll be fine once it's all said and done. It'll probably run forever and be perfect but um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and let that one go have the one pinball machine the two arcade games. 
Um, as we walk over here, and pardon the noise in the background, it's extremely windy out today. But we have Mark's Corvette. Um, this is uh, this is Mark's Corvette. Mark is moving out of state, so I'm going to keep this car here for him for just a little while. And when he's ready to send for it, he'll send a transport or whatever, and they'll pick it up from here. He's also got a '65 uh, Pontiac uh, GTO. Um, it, it's a clone. It's not a true GTO, but it's a pretty nice car. He's going to have me bring it over here, and I'm going to end up selling it for him. So that will be in the shop as soon as he gets it back up and running. He's putting a cam in and a clutch and things like that. So as soon as that's up and running, it'll be over here, um, and I will actually have that one for sale. As you can see, the shoebox is back up and running and here, and I got to say, I really, really like it. Uh, I haven't done more than maybe put about six or seven miles on the car, but it's a lot of fun. Definitely very low geared. Not going to be a good one for cruising down the freeway in, but not a bad riding, running, driving, shifting car, um, all things considered. So I'm pretty happy with that. C5 is going to go up for sale this week, so we'll see what happens there. And um, as you guys can see, everything else is in its place where it should be. Kind of got the shop set up the way I want it now. Um, I'm going to put the 72 C10 over there in the corner once it comes back. That's another one that's been kind of fun and, and everything like that, trying to figure it all out. But it is back up and running. Everything is good. And so it should be ready to come home probably Monday or Tuesday whenever Eddie just needs to do a couple final touches on it. And basically the same thing with the, um, the Impala. With any luck, probably by next week I should have all the vehicles under, in, under one roof, which will be nice. And um, we're going to go from there. So... With that, I am going to go ahead and end this video. Uh, I do thank you very much for watching, and if you like it, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you're stopping in for the first time or haven't already, please subscribe. I thank you guys so much. Um, over 500 subscribers now, and just absolutely loving it. All the comments are amazing. So, you know, I have some of the greatest subscribers out there. You guys are just absolutely outstanding. I love the comments. I love the input. I love the suggestions and things like that. Um, Instagram and PO Box will be in the description below. And with that, God bless. Take care. Have an absolutely amazing day.